Hi guys, Dave Max 6 we're back in Mecca and I've got my good friend Silvio back on the competing trail just two weeks out from the California Pro and he's looking mean and lean and he's going for the open this time Silvio, you look awesome dude. Man, I thank you very much Dave, you know, it's a hard work, we're walking, you know, we, we are walking, you know? we have a team that is really looking for progress and all we have to do is to head, go ahead and then be what Silvio has been before. So. The job is going on, and we are satisfied with what we are going on now. So. Yeah, I bet you're satisfied. And this footage is unbelievable. We just got that right now. This has been quite the journey for you, Silvio. Man, we, you know, you, you ha we, we talk about it all the time. But I just, I was thinking this today before I came to shoot you today. I'm like, you know what? What a great turn your life has 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 uh, got over the past couple of years. You came back to gold, started back at zero with less than nothing. And now you're done competing in the 212, doing the open division, just like you, when you did back in 2007, back to where you belong with the big boys, like you like to, as you like to say it. You got your own new place. Everything is falling back into the way things were, and it seemed, you seem to be really happy. You seem to be really content with yourself. And obviously the body reflects it. Talk to me about this journey so far, and uh, you know it must make you very, very happy to see that you kind of have two lives in, in a one way. Right? Yeah. In the sport. Yeah. It's good you say so, and uh, I'm really glad that you follow up with my career, most especially my lifestyle, uh, since I've been here. Uh, it has been endurance, and most especially I have to thank God for everything because uh, He gave me the zeal and the ability to believe in myself. And, uh, and He gave me the peace that I never had just by knowing that things happen for a reason and there's a way you can turn bad things into good because at the end you have to live your life and the way you make it to work for you is the way you're gonna live by it no matter what anybody will say they are not gonna live your life for you so you gotta make the best out of whatever comes your way and I have been able to go through life to see that uh, Nothing comes out of anything if you don't work for it the way you want it. So coming back here was with a positive mind to see that even I lost it all, even I've been in a place that I'm supposed not to be, not of my own making, but I still have to put the bad aside because one thing in life is for me to get my future, I have to forget about my past. It's not that forgetting, but it's a memory that drew me through the better things that to come. I believe that, I, in myself, I believe I can do what I love doing. Coming back to start it all from the scratch, there is no rush in bodybuilding. I knew last two years, I would be back again this very year with the big boys, that I didn't want to jump into doing things in a hurry. I take my time to build. That was the reason I chose to go building up from the scratch. After six years of laying off from the uh, 212, competed over the Air Force shows, then I, I gained the momentum to know that the quality is back here. And moreover, working with Charles Glass and then doing my own thing on the nutrition part of, of it too. And then, you know, I know how to put much of effort. I, got, I have to do a lot to put myself back there. So that's exactly what I've been doing. and that's what the results is coming. We are not there yet, but it's a start. And I'm happy that we have a way that we are handling things and it's going the way we want, to, want it to go. I want to talk about that a little bit. Was, it, was that your strategy from the beginning when you came back? You're like, you know what? I'm just going to start. Obviously, I don't have the same size now as I did back in 07 and all these things. So, but the condition was always there. As soon as you started competing again when you came back over here, people, people you know, some people, they get older and they lose that condition. And yeah. you were known 
for your trademark condition. And as soon as you start competing, people will say, oh shit, so you still got that condition going, you just need more time to put that, that side back on, which is what you've been doing about a year. And now you're telling me you're about 2.30 today, but I gotta say, man, that condition is the same now as when I saw you win shows at 2, 2.02, 2.10, 2.12. It's, uh, and I, I want to say something about that because you obviously, you know, train at Goals from Venice with Charles Gass and on, on training everything, but the nutrition part, that's all you. Yeah. So talk uh, to me about that. You know, uh, uh, it's good to say so because uh, we have a mutual respect between me and Charles. He basically trained me on weight training, but uh, right from time, I've been doing my nutrition myself. So I, I specialize on understanding myself. So uh, it's not hard for me, it's not a difficult thing for me to put in, in a, 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 be in a condition that I want to. I know, like you said, in the show, I'm rather being judged by my condition, what I would bring if I'm not like I was before, but I keep on nailing it every time. So it wasn't something that scared me. But the main fact was the decision I had to make myself, even from the very first call that I made to the president of the IDB, Goldie G. Manuel, to tell him I'm coming back, but then he asked me, uh, what are you going to do? I said, no, I, I told him, I, I want to be in the 212 to start with. So I understand my body. I know very well there is no rush to jump into uh, hurrying to be with the big boys and competing. Bodybuilding has to be something, if you can't bring it, don't be there because there is no excuse to give. Yeah, there's no point of you getting all the preparation and then you don't do well and then you have somebody to blame. Yeah. I don't want to blame anybody, so I said, no, let me start because I understand my body. Let me start from the scratch, start from zero and build myself to where I will be. So I'm still doing the building. So coming up now is something that we've worked and you know, planning since two years ago. And if it's coming up this way, it's just because we've laid down what we're going to do. And that's exactly what it is now. Since when have you been in charge of your own nutrition? Who taught you all this? I mean, you didn't, I mean, did, how did you gather all that information? Because you say it's easy, it comes easy, but trust me, it's not easy to be in condition when you're a pro. That's actually most of people's problems. So how do you, how do you, uh, how long have you been your own coach as far as nutrition? And how did you acquire all that knowledge? And how do you, how can you nail it every time the way you do it? You know, like I said, patient is the best teacher for any person. I came from an environment whereby, like I was in Spain, uh, I was winning all the world championship, even uh, three years in a row, without even knowing what was nutrition. So, when actually I hear about there is nutrition about, uh, uh, about carrying on the things about uh, bodybuilding, so I started inquiring about it, but the first was that they told me, oh, you don't need it, because you already been winning. Yeah. But I knew I gotta do something, but at the end, I started, getting into research, studying a lot. Even while in Spain, I was, you know, ordering uh, 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 Joe Rita videos to learn about most of the things. Then I researched, I went to school of nutrition over there, then to teach. The rest of the things was, I don't just put in things that I need to put in because somebody said it. I believe in doing a lot of research. I believe in finding out what is good and what is not good and I take only what is good in my body, no matter, no matter what it is. So, uh, I'm not competing to impress or training to impress anybody, but I'm just trying to bring the best out of me to make an example for others to follow. So, in that case, I would tell people there's a lot to learn about bodybuilding. There's a lot to learn about nutrition. So, if you really stood down, I learned everything by myself and then I came out the way it is and I'm not, I don't stop many. I still keep on researching. So like now, I take up a clinic with people that I try to show them. I try to slow down the space of rushing to do things in a hurry, mostly on nutrition for them to learn the basic. Learning the basic of nutrition is by understanding yourself. That's why I use the word easy, because your body is telling you something. It's telling you when to eat. It's telling you what to do, but we don't listen to because there is a particular time you can eat what you need to eat and it still function the way it should be. Most people don't know the differentiation between carbohydrate, food and protein. So with that, we cannot really master what we are doing. So and you allow somebody to do it for you, it's still based on assumption and all experiment. It works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes. 
So we want it to be working effectively like it is for me, best condition in any shows, win whoever wins. So that is what I want. I'm now doing clinics and training workshops for people. Okay, so that was going to be my next question. So do you actually help people with their nutrition? That's right, I do. And how, how, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, the Instagram, yes? They can get into my Instagram. That is still Sam1. S-I-L-S-A-M-1. Or they can in, uh, email me, soinso18 at gmail.com. Okay, cool. So let me ask you something. Is it easier to get yourself in shape or other people in shape? <laughs> I, 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 I do both because one, uh, everything I have to experiment on people, I've done it myself. So I'm not giving somebody a write-up for the person to do. I'm monitoring the person to understand himself, to understand his food intake. I don't call it diet, I call it meal plan because at the end, you got to make it a lifestyle. Yeah. So I make them to understand what it's all about nutrition and conducting themselves to be able to move. So they will now know exactly like I know how to put themselves in condition, give themselves, their mm. body what they want. That's awesome. Well, I think it's the first time we actually delve into the, the nutrition part so much, but I know that, you know, for years since you know, I, I met you at meals, you were telling me that, that he actually gave you some tips and you were writing down everything and he was surprised yeah. that everything he told you, you wrote down wrote everything. That. And yeah. that's how you learn, that's how you remember. So. Yeah, that's how I learn, that's how I do what I do because Taking note of things. That's why even the, the, the people that I'm taking on with, I tell them to take note of things. Yes. Because I want to let people know that there is no secret in bodybuilding. Because it comes out to be that what people think is a secret. People that really want to know bodybuilding will know about it. So there's no point hiding yeah. anything. So I have to be open-minded with people for them to know. Because at the end, we are playing with our lifespan. Yeah. How to serve your last long in the game is the secret of the nutrition because what you put in, in your body, right. whatever you put in, in whatever ways, is very important. So you gotta know. Well, it's working for you because you don't age, man. You look the same now as you did in 2007, I gotta tell you. I, I'm just 43, so awesome. the, the life begins at 40, so I'm just about to live my life, you know. Uh, Silvio, I'm, I'm really glad you're here today. I I'm very excited for you to compete at the Cal. I will be there to see you and to cheer you on. Thank and you uh, I would love much. nothing but a win for you. And uh, it would be great to do some more footage leading up to the Olympia. I want to do some more lifestyle with you. I want to show your place because we're talking off camera. And I think it's so inspiring uh, for me to hear how great you're doing now uh, after the hard time you had and, and see how happy you are. I think other people need to see that too because it's what gets other people it's what you know it's your story that gets other people uh uplifted and and inspired and i think it's important to share it so yeah thank you man it's true i really thank you very much and i thank every fans over there i thank very much the jay also for the jt uh jay Cutler tv too uh i thank everybody that has been supporting uh inspiring also and uh i want to tell people don't give up on your dreams because nobody can, no matter what anybody says that you can't, will not lift you to where you, your set goal is. Keep every negativity of anybody, believe in yourself, and then do what you need to do. It works for me, it will work for you too. So at the end, it is you that you have to live your life. The way you make your bed, so you lie on it. So I'm lying on a sweet bed now because I've been preparing it very well. <laughs> and on those wise words, <laughs> we're gonna let you guys go. But we will be—I will be there backstage at the Cal. I got backstage I love access, it. I love so it. I can't wait to see you there, man. Best of luck, Silvio. Bye. <laughs>